So now, now he's trespassing again, and I got a brutal cold. Kind of feel like shit. It's a little heavy, but uh, Jack's just chilling up there. He's uh, being my lookout. Want to show you something that, that you could easily walk over without uh, knowing that it's one of the most uh, rare plants in the Bay Area. This is a Streptanthus callistus. Now, Streptanthus, of course, are uh, the gateway drug to brassicas. Brassicaceae. I hope I don't offend anybody in saying this. But Brassicaceae is normally a family of plants that it can be hard to give a shit about. A lot of the invasive mustards are in Brassicaceae. Uh, there's just, uh, there's you know, first general glance at looking at the family, it seems rather boring. But then you get genera like this in Calanthus, the desert candle, etc. And uh, there's a ton of speciation in uh, Streptanthus, especially on serpentine. Uh, and this is a... Uh, serpentine talus it appears but you can tell by how a uh, pig meat everything's growing that yellow is a, a connectus a glabriuscula it's an asteraceae you got some acmispon you got some uh, chia right there salvia columbariae which normally gets up to like a foot or foot and a half tall but it's only here it's because the soil's so brutal it's uh you know doesn't have a lot of nutrients and has a lot of toxic uh, heavy metals in it and what the shit uh, the nothing gets too big right here you can see i mean it's some of the biggest plants stop out at, I don't know, 80. Look, there you go, there's a Melocotrix falsifera that's in the uh, chicory tribe. They, you know, and this too, I mean, this what, an inch and a half tall, not even, you know, and normally that guy, that bastard gets up to, you know, foot and a half, two feet, okay? So anyway, uh, you should really look into the genus Streptanthus. There's, uh, I think there's 28 species in California, then there's, uh, 17 subspecies, uh, a shit ton of them are rare, not really sure how many, and then there's, I, I believe, I don't know how many that are endemic to serpentine, that only grow on serpentine soil and habitat, but uh, there's quite a few, at least 15 I would say, and so this is a genus that has mastered the tolerance of this harsh soil uh, better than most, and again, this is supposedly one of the rarest I, you know, I don't know how you really rate that, though, you know? You get your typical four petals of brassica KCA. And uh, a lot of the brassicas get the terminal sterile flower cl uh, cluster up at the top, too. But I don't know if this is if that's what that is, you know? Yeah, just a real nice habitat, you know? Trespassing on uh, private property in, in beautiful Santa Clara County. Malacothric flothifera. Just having a having a really hard time. Connect this glabriuscula. Delicate bastards. That's so beautiful. God, Streptanthus are weird, though. They're a weird fucking genius. So odd. Uh, oh, look, here's one with some leaves. Now watch where I step. Look at those leaves. How'd you how'd, what would you call those leaves? Oh, they're almost papillose and dentate. Ooh. Jack, what do you think about that, huh? Jack, Jack. Yeah, and there you go. There's the habitat. You know, just on a north-facing slope. You know, so it doesn't get cooked by the sun. You having trouble standing, or what are you doing over there? He's looking at some bird or something. A ton of little stuff. There, there's none up there. We looked up there. There's none up there. Okay. Maybe there's some down there too. Of course, it's an annual, so it just you know. Flowers, set some seed, dies back, and you don't see it again for a year.